Hello, good morning, good afternoon. This presentation is titled A Windfall or a Downfall, Mainstreaming OER into the Nigerian University Curriculum. Being presented by Alekasim Hamisa Abdu from, Uni from University Library, Yusuf Maita Masle University, Kano, Nigeria. The background of the study is in the fact that University education in Nigeria is so controlled by the National Universities Commission. The commission is responsible for developing curriculum and monitoring the implementation of the curriculum. So far, there are about 200 universities in Nigeria. But however, lack of resources has been a fundamental problem of the university education in Nigeria. Possibly this is a reading from 2015. The National Universities Commission has been working to see that OER are incorporated into the Nigerian university system. The commission recently embarked on curriculum review. In 2022, the exercise introduced culminated in a document, which is a new curriculum in the Nigerian universe, among Nigerian universities. The curriculum is titled Core Curriculum and Minimum Academic Standard for Nigerian University System. So this, uh, the question that is waiting for answer is, to what extent this exercise of curriculum review serve as a way of supporting OER development in the country, especially when we consider the recommendation of the Commonwealth of Learning Guideline for, uh, for often educational resources in the higher education. So what actually this work try to do is to embark on content analysis so that the texts and the philosophy of the 17 volumes or 17 disciplines that were newly introduced by the National Universities Commission will be analyzed so as to see that to what extent they to what extent the new curriculum is supporting the development of OER in the educational system or in or in particular among the Nigerian universities. So we analyzed the document and we discovered that the new curriculum was released under open license, the license that will allow adoption and adoption of the curriculum within the country and possibly outside of the country. And this is very nice. This is very welcoming to the development of open educational resources. Secondly, we discovered that structurally the newly introduced curriculum is just carrying 70% of the content that intend to, uh, to, uh, to, that intend to be taught to the learners. The remaining 30% component of the curriculum will be developed by individual universities to cover the diversities of the Nigerian universities. This is actually another welcome development because it will take care, it will make the university education more diversified and it will uh, cater for the diversities of the learners, the diversities of the regions and diversities of cultures in the country. This is actually a good, a, a good development in the around OER development. However, on the other side, we notice or we discovered that the curriculum is more to do with achieving learning goals with uh, molding learners. But the, the curriculum is in short of how this learning objective can be achieved, or at least how the objective can be resourced, how the resource are going to be developed. 
there is the document supposed to highlight the way that resources are going to be developed more, especially to take care of the 30% components that are going to be developed by individual universities. Secondly, no single course was introduced or introduced to take learners or to expose learners to OER or Open Educational Resources, whether under education or under library and information science. Although this may be good, this may be a good time to introduce courses that will teach learners, especially those who are undergoing library and information science programs on how to play a role in the development of, uh, uh, of OER in their prospective place of work. This is actually a, a, a limitation of the curriculum uh, with regard to developing OER in the educational system of the country. Thirdly, library and information science program in the new curriculum was reduced to train just teacher librarians. Prior to that, the curriculum of library and information science was more robust to produce LIS practitioners that can work anywhere that now education courses were injected where some very important courses were removed. So the course, the, 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 the program is now reduced to just training teacher librarian rather than training the 21st century library and information workers who will be able to develop, to support the development of OER in their places of work. Finally, we discovered that a very important course, which was earlier a general course, teaching information literacy with the title uh, library skills has now been dropped from the curriculum. This course could be maintained and geared toward exposing learners to OER sources and other aspects of OER, but now the course has totally been out of the curriculum. This is not in, uh, in tandem with the development of OER in the country and in the Nigerian university system in particular. Other questions that are waiting for answers include how the resources, how how to resource the new courses that will form part or that will form the 30% of the curriculum. The new courses that universities will develop, how will these courses be resourced? Are the universities going to adapt or adopt resources from somewhere? Are they going to create, are they going to develop, develop resources from scratch? These guidance have not been, have not been provided in the curriculum and it ought to be provided. Secondly, what types of license will cover the 30% uh, the, 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 the components that will be developed by individual universities? There is no uh, guidelines about that. Although it needs to be pulled together and possibly issued under, issued, issued under open license, so that there should be exchange and also adoption and adaptation among and between Nigerian universities and possibly outside of the Nigerian university system. This also is waiting for answer. What are the way forward for the Nigerian National University Universities Commission as far as the development of OER is concerned in the country and in the university system in particular. The commission needs to widen its scope of OER application. It needs to use all avenues. All chances should not to be wasted to see that OER are being introduced and they are being uh, supported in the Nigerian university system. 
There is also a need for the Commission to consider and work with the guidelines for open educational resource in higher education that was developed by the Commonwealth of Learning. The document is very important. It has a section for the accreditation agency, agencies such as the National Universities Commission. The Commission also needs to consider resource, especially OER, a very effective tool toward attaining the goal of educational program. In the present curriculum, more attention has been paid to the uh, results that the curriculum want to uh, achieve. But little attention was paid to uh, resourcing the system so as to achieve effective results. So this uh, is uh, my presentation and I thank you for your time listening to this presentation. Thank you. Good place.